Watch you guys, welcome back to Van Life Customs UK Limited. Um, on the bench today, I've got two fridges. I've got the CRX50 and the CRE50. Um, this has just come in for a build we're doing. Um, not this one, um, it's going on a different one. But I had this on the bench and I thought I'd chuck this one up here. This one's my own one out of my own camper van. And I thought I'd just put them both together and just see what roughly the difference is. Um, there are some differences, uh, but that's about £100 cheaper than that one. And I think they do the same job. So let's have a look, see uh, see if we can see any noticeable differences. So this is the black version, and this is obviously the silver version. Um, I believe they do that in a black version and that in a silver version. It's just the way they had them in stock, and that's what I bought. Um, so they're pretty much identical in size. As you can see, there's a couple of differences on the front. The handles are pretty much different. Um, but the silver face, I think, is exactly the same. So the differences are definitely noticed on the inside. You can swap the doors around so they hinge either side. Um, because we have them in these units, um, this sits sort of behind you, uh, the driver's seat in a like a T5 or T6, um, they're better off hinged this side, so that this one will be getting spun round, um, but just to show you the insides together, that's how I've done. So as you can see, the CRX50 has all these blue plasticky bits, and then the CRE50 doesn't. They both have a little freezer, and that is removable, so you can have a bigger fridge if you want to. And they both do exactly the same. We always leave our little freezer in. It's, it's a handy little cupboard. So, obviously the biggest uh, difference is these blue, blue shelf things. Personally, I think they're a waste of time. Um, it's always awkward to get anything in there. This is always in the way. So I think, not having these little blue flappy bits, I honestly don't think it matters. I might even take mine out going forward when it goes back in my van. So that's the difference to the fronts and the insides. And I'm just going to take you around the back because there are some noticeable differences between the two fridges. They're both compressor fridges, but they seem they've got different compressors or motors or whatever you want to call them. I'm not a fridge person. I don't really know too much about fridges, but there are some noticeable differences. Um, whether it makes any difference and I mean this one I bought about three years ago so they may have changed it since so I mean this one's literally just come in stock now um, so let's go around the back and have a look and see uh, see what the difference is between the two right so around the back this side's CRX and this is the CRE so the first thing I noticed was the fan was on the outside on mine and on this one it was on the inside this is a little fan that runs I suppose it keeps that heat sink cool. Both both got them. Um, that was the first thing I noticed. Then I noticed the size was different. Now on the CRX of mine, it's slightly bigger than the CRE. But as you can see, the heat sink or whatever that I'm assuming that's a heat sink it looks like a, looks like a heat sink. That's a lot wider, a um, bit more compact, but much wider than the one on mine. So I don't know what difference that has. The next thing I noticed was the, I'm assuming, I think this is the compressor, is much bigger on mine than it is on the CRE. It's quite a little unit on there. Now I don't know what difference that makes, but as you can see there is a difference. And yet again the, the little wiring box, little wiring, the electrical side of things, that's there and that's that one there. So mine is branded Seco. And this one's branded Waco. So I don't know whether that's the difference because they're just different brands. Or whether there is a like a cost saving in this, having a smaller little compressor than on the CRX. Making it a big big compressor. Because when you when you can't try and do the research, there's nothing really that tells you like the differences. It just says this is the CRE um, and this is the CRX. As far as I can tell, like the size and everything on the inside is exactly the same. Um, and 
the efficiency and all the rest of it's the same from what I can see. So I don't know. So I just thought I'd do a little video showing the two. Um, I mean, personally, if I was to buy another Ford, I'd probably just go for the CRE and save myself 100 quid. Um, it'd be interesting to see what they're like in the middle of the summer inside a van running together. See if there's any difference in what keeps your beer colder. So, yeah, that's my conclusion. Um, I mean, either of them, they both look really nice. Um, I'm sure they'll both keep your beer cold or your milk or your bacon, whatever you want to put in your fridge. So while they're both out on the bench, I'm just going to quickly show you the difference in the opening mechanisms, because that is definitely different. Um, it's quite simple on the CRE, um, and it's a little bit more complicated, maybe possibly to go wrong on the CRX. Um, but I'm assuming the CRX, it will definitely keep the door locked tighter against the fridge itself. So that's the handle that undoes the CRX. And that's the handle that undoes the CRE. And as you can see, that little handle just clips under there. And on this one, there's a little latch just on the door. And that clips into there. But it also has it on the bottom. So I'm going to try and get my camera down to see that. I don't think it's going to. You might do. So if I lift the handle, there you, are, you can just see it moving up and down. So that locks top and bottom, where these ones don't. So I'm assuming that might have a little bit of um, something to do with the price as well. So they both have a vent on them. On this one, you slide this round thing. That just clips into there and that just holds the door open slightly. So most of the time our fridge is on the vent in the back of the van when we're not using it. That's probably 70% of the year. And then uh, when we use it, obviously you just turn that to lock. That just shut and locks absolutely fine. So on the CRE, very simple. Um, they are made of plastic, but I'm not sure. You know, I'm sure it'd be fine. I can't see it being hammered too much. Just be a bit more gentle. So the vent literally swings round like that. I can't just lock in. There's a spring mechanism holds that in place. And then it just literally catches on. So you're still getting the vent in effect which obviously allows it to sort of dry out and not go mouldy or anything. So I don't know what I prefer really. I think I like the look of the CRE. I think it's a lot cleaner. Um, yeah, I don't know. Simple, I mean, if this breaks, I mean, you gotta have it all apart to try and repair it. Because like I say, that does the top and the bottom, but at least with this one, if that breaks, it's a simple couple of screws to remove to swap them over. And I would imagine that's a lot cheaper to replace than uh, the bits in this one. Moving on to the back. Anyway, thanks for watching. Leave us a comment. Catch you again. Bye-bye.